this is Jenny from PAC, and this is your balance workout. You will not need any equipment today. If you would feel more comfortable doing balance exercises with a chair or countertop nearby, absolutely, that's a great choice. You won't even technically need your shoes. If there's some reason you need to work out in shoes, then absolutely leave your shoes on. We're gonna begin by warming up our feet, our foundation. Go ahead and turn your toes forward, all 10 toes forward, so that you've created a number 11 with your feet. Your feet are in a parallel position. Relax the shoulders down the back. Let's check in with our posture as, as we bring the chin back. So we've got ears over shoulders, shoulders over ribs, ribs over hips, and hips over heels. And we'll maintain that posture throughout our workout. To begin, we're gonna lift all 10 toes off the floor, spread them wide like a fan, and then lower them down. Lift all 10 toes, spread them wide, and lower. I do this action with my hands to help train my feet. Your brain is pretty far away from your feet, so sometimes it can be tough to communicate with your feet. Lift and spread. Your toe fans lift, spread your toes wide. Go ahead and look down at the floor. Do you notice a little bit of floor between the toes? Let's do that one more time. Lift, spread them wide, and lower down. We're gonna move on to doming, or short foot. I'm gonna turn one foot to the side to demonstrate this exercise. You're gonna leave your heel in place. Lift your toes, lengthen them. Imagine you're reaching your toes forward, and then grip the ground with your feet. Don't let your toes curl under. Release. You'll notice the arch lifting. Lengthen the toes, grip the ground, almost like your feet are little suction cups. So lengthen and grip. Strengthen your arches, the intrinsic muscles of the feet. And our feet, our feet are often neglected and forgotten about, I know, but they are very important and they contain a very dense concentration of nerve endings, which are really, really important to our movement and our balance. Last one. Good job. Shift the body weight onto the left leg as you begin to lift and lower, lift and lower your right heel. Just sort of stretching through the arch of the foot, through the toes, press through all five toes, We'll do this just a few times and lift and hold here, hold here. Go ahead and extend your right leg, bring your right hip back down in line with the left and we're going to point and flex. I'm going to connect my toes and then my heels, my toe and then my heel on that right side. So there's not a lot of time I'm spending just on one leg. We're just starting our balance workout. We'll have some more time to spend on one leg, I promise. Last one, point the toe, hold here, and trace a little half circle around the backside and come to rest on the top of that right foot. You'll notice a pretty sensational feeling right away as we stretch the top of the foot into the ankle. It's not a, an area of the body that we typically stretch. Step your foot back in and shift your body weight now onto your left leg or your right leg as you lift and lower your left leg, lift and lower your left heel. Foot fold on this side, press into the ground all five toes. Notice a stretch at the arch. Two more times. We'll lift this one up, hold here, relax the shoulders, bring the chin back. Check back in with your posture, and now extend that leg, and then point and flex. So I'm digging the heel, and then pointing the toes, digging the heel, pointing the toes. Starting to keep your hips level. A couple more times. All right, now point, hold here, trace that little circle around the backside, come to rest on the top of that left foot. 
This may be a time you need to catch a little bit of support. I just ask if you do, rather than gripping your support, just lay some fingers across your support. That should be enough to help you find your balance again. And step that leg back in. This is a dynamic balance, so we will be moving the whole body. Begin rolling the shoulders back. A couple of times. And then roll the shoulders forward. And one more time. Step your feet out wide. Inhale your right arm up body stretch. Float that arm down. Inhale your opposite arm up. We'll do that once more each side. Inhale, right arm up. Maybe look up past that bicep. Float that arm down and last time through. Inhale, Reach up, now look up. And float that arm down. All right. We'll begin by shifting the weight of our body onto our right leg. Hips, hip, knee, and toe facing forward. And the action we're going to take is we're going to imagine we are creating a capital letter T by bringing that opposite foot around and then underlining the foot. So capital letter T, underline capital letter T and underline. So you can see that leg is staying in a fixed point and the pelvis is just sort of rotating around it. Good work. We'll do that three, two, one more time. All right. Please, please put your feet back in line. Now we're going to step your left leg across, even across the pinky toe of the right leg. And then bring your feet back in line. And then that left leg comes behind, almost like you were doing the action of a curtsy or a bowling move. So step in front, step to the side, and then step behind. Please feel, to, feel free to keep it at this level right here. Just step, step, step. Maintaining stability on that one leg or maybe step, lunge front. Step to the side, squat center. Step behind, cross back lunge. Step to the side. Step across that right leg in front. Good work. Working on strengthening the lower body. One more time through, please. Squat, center, cross back. Squat, you're doing great. And then step in front. Good work. All right, now just squat center, lift, the right heel. Squat center, lift the right knee. Squat, lift the knee. Squat, lift the knee, you're doing great. Three more. We're gonna hold the last one up. That is right now, hold it up, hold it up. Way, way up, find your balance, relax the shoulders. Catch the countertop or chair, or hands to heart center, balance on one leg. For three, wonderful work. And set that foot down, nicely done. Shift the hips from side to side. Good work, all right. Shift the weight of your body onto that left leg. Now again, on this side, we're gonna create that capital T, and then underline the foot capital T, and underline. So you feel the whole body rotating around that left thigh bone. The knee is soft. 
The shoulders are relaxed. Coming around the front side, capital T, then underline for three, two, good work, last one. All right, nicely done. Step out to the side. Now we cross that left leg crosses in front, right leg crosses in front. Then come back to the center and then step behind and center. Cross over and center. Cross behind. Good work. Move with control. Bring an awareness to your abdominals, especially as you begin to maybe go a little deeper. Bend the knees, lunge front. Squat center. Cross behind, like a cross back lunge. Squat center. Keep the chest lifted as you squat center. Lunge forward, lift the back heel. Squat center, you're doing great. Cross back. And remember for you, it might be tap side, tap front, tap side, tap behind. Wonderful work. Last time here, squat, knee lift. Squat, knee lift. Find that balance. Today it might be squat, heel lift, that's okay. And lift. Trying something new. Three more. We're gonna hold the next one up, hold the next one up, way up. Hold, 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 find your balance. Relax the shoulders, bring awareness to your abdominals. Bring the chin back, ears over shoulders, shoulders over ribs, ribs over hips. Find that upright posture for three. Release, very nicely done. Balance work. It's not easy. It's not easy down here. It's not easy up here either. You're doing a wonderful job. All right. Stagger your stance, right leg forward, left leg back. The further apart your feet are, the more base of support you'll have. Press both arms forward. I think I'll show this from the side. So I have a staggered stance. Knees are slightly bent and my back heel is making connection with the floor. I'm gonna circle my right arm back. Circle back. So gaze is forward. Palms pressing out, fingers spread wide. Draw a big circle behind you, good work. All right, we're gonna make a change now we're gonna do just a rainbow arm, but the eyes follow the hand. The eyes follow the hand. Keep going, keep going. So your eyes are shifting, your eyes are following your hand. That's your hand creates that rainbow shape. Two more times. And last one. Good work, release your arms as you shift your body weight forward and begin to scratch the inside of that ankle with your big toe. How are you doing? Can you stay here a little bit longer? Maybe hands to heart center. Maybe send the arms out long to the side. Let's try some gaze variation. Can you look to the right? Eyes center, hi there. Look to the left. Eyes center and release. Good work, very nicely done. Let's do that on the other side. Split your stance, soften both knees. Feel free to have a really nice wide base of support. Relax the shoulders down the back and then press your arms forward with a lot of strength and integrity. And now that left arm circle around, but keep the eyes forward. Circle around. Now if you've got some shoulder issues today, it might look more like this. That's okay. That's all right. 
Spread the fingers wide so you even sense the skin stretching between the fingers. We want really active upper body. Last one here. Inhale up, exhale down and around, and then reset. Push, 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 push. Super strong and active upper body. And now we're gonna let the gaze follow as we create the shape of a rainbow with that left arm. Eyes follow. Notice some shifting at the hips. Strive to keep both heels down. Draw awareness to your inner thighs and glutes and your core. Couple more times here. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. And last one. Eyes up and over, back around, release as you shift the weight of your body forward. And then go ahead, give that inner ankle a little scratch with your big toe. Can you stay here a little bit longer? Let's try it out. Press your arms out wide. Relax the shoulders down the back. Now let's gaze towards the left. And then towards the right. And then eyes forward and release. Good work. Very nicely done. All right, I would like to give you some gait variations that you can do with me right now. And that maybe from time to time, even when you're not watching this video, you can do just as you travel, let's say from your kitchen down the hall to your bedroom. Here are some gait variations that I'd like to share with you. In order for me to, sh to demonstrate for the longest amount of time, I'm going to walk at an angle. All right, here's the first one. The first one is high knee march. And it's very slow. And it's with a lot of control. Just lift one knee and lift the other knee. I'll turn around. High knee march. Once again, please check in with your posture. Draw the chin back, ears over shoulders. Shoulders over hips, hips over heels. Good work. Here's another gait variation for you. We're going to step laterally. So step to the side, step in. Step to the side, step in. And then reverse it. Step to the side, step in. Good work. All right. We're going to do a little karaoke step, karaoke. We're going to step across in front and then behind. Across in front and then behind. Across in front and switch sides. So the outside leg now comes across in front and behind. Across in front and behind. Good work. All right. Very nicely done. And then finally, tandem walk, and we'll actually try this going forward and then reversing and going backward. So you'll wanna make sure you have nothing around you on the floor. So to do a tandem walk, you're going to place your heel directly in front of your toes, like you are walking a tightrope. And you know, if you're walking a tightrope, you have very, very good balance. Good work. You may find that you need to actually look down at the floor, at your feet, to maintain this. And big challenge, let's try walking that tightrope tight rope in reverse. You'll notice a lot of shifting at the ankle joints. That's all good stuff. Keep the chest up. Even if you're looking down, don't round through the upper back. And last one. Good work. All right. Now I'd love to lead you in a little bit of eyes closed work. We'll start with a nice wide base of support. Feet under the hips and all 10 toes facing forward. Soften the knees just a little bit. Little, little micro bend in the knees. Cross your hands over your heart 
and close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now, if you're not comfortable closing your eyes, maybe try opening just one eye or just do this with both eyes open. Relax the shoulders and the face. Bring an awareness to the inner thighs, the glutes, and your abdominals. Do you feel much shifting in this position? Possibly not. When you're ready, open your eyes and step your feet together. Again, relax the shoulders, soften the knees slightly, bring the hands across the heart, relax the shoulders, and close the eyes, or maybe you can peek. That's okay. If you need one or both eyes open, go ahead. Now, do you notice a little bit more shifting in the body, perhaps? Draw an awareness again to your inner thighs, your glutes, and your abdominals. Notice that shifting side to side as your, your body strives to keep you upright. And it's doing a great job. Open your eyes, still standing. Good job. All right, our toughest one, tandem stance. Tandem stance, eyes closed, hands over the heart. So you've got your right leg in front, left leg behind. Go ahead, close one or both eyes. And this is where the magic happens. Lots of shifting, right? So squeeze the inner thighs and glutes a little bit. Draw awareness to the abdominals. Find your balance. When you're ready, open your eyes, take a step to the side. How'd you do? Let's try the other side. Remember, this is not something you necessarily get the very first time you try this. This takes practice. I hope you'll do this, this video with me again. So, now you've got your opposite leg in front, tandem stance, left leg forward, right leg back, heel right in front of the toes. Relax the shoulders and close one or both eyes. Or keep the eyes open. Draw awareness to your feet and ankles, up the body, inner thighs and glutes. Notice the work of the core. your eyes and take a step to the side. Very nicely done. Balance exercises are challenging for your body and your brain. You did a great job today and please hit play on this, this video another time. This definitely takes more than one time through to get all of these exercises. We're going to end with one final deep inhale. Exhale your hands to heart center with gratitude. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you and come back anytime. Thank you.